Hey everyone, it's Matthew Fieldhouse here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start your first router in GNS3. So once you've installed GNS3, you'll get this window which prompts you uh, to run through the setup wizard. Step one is very simple. Usually everything will work 100% first time. The next thing to do is step two. It's a little bit more complex. In here we need a Cisco IOS image. So an IOS image can be found on a Cisco router that you may have lying around, a real physical router. You can copy the iOS image off of that onto your PC and then load it into GNS3. Or you might be able to find some if you uh, search on Google, you know, if you use the right keywords to download an iOS image. Or if you've got a service contract with Cisco, if you work for a big company, they might have a service contract and you'll be able to download yourself some of the images from the website. Okay, so once you've clicked on the step two, what we need to do first is find our image file and that's our Cisco IOS image. So mine's on my desktop in my GNS folder. Here this is a C3725 IOS image. So GNS has automatically detected for me exactly what kind of uh, router this needs to be. If you click the drop down box here you can see you've got different kinds of platforms and models. I'll tell you now I've read a lot about GNS3 and I've used it a long time myself and um, been involved in different forums and discussions. The 3725 IOS is the recommended one every single time. It's the best. Uh, you don't get any bugs or crashing. You can also use the uh, Cisco 16 port Etherswitch module plugin which uh, allows you to virtualize a Cisco switch inside the router. It's really useful. So we'll click save there and you can see that the iOS image has been added to the top and now we'll click close. So now we've run through all the setup wizard, that's finished and we can click OK. I'll make this window a little bit bigger for you so you can see more. So on the left you can see we've got all our different node types. If you remember we used a 3725 image so that's part of the 3700 series routers. Remember you've got to choose the right node type for your iOS image. So we'll click and drag and put it into the, uh, this is pretty much the topology area, this is where you'll build up your network diagram. So if we right click on the router, then we can click start. And we'll give it a while just to kind of start the router up. A good thing to do is bring up the task manager with control, shift and escape. Check your performance. You'll notice your CPU usage might be quite high the first time you start a router. And I'll explain why in a moment. If you right click again and click console we can see the uh, the command line. Okay so now we've got access we can do all the usual commands enable, we could change our host name if we wanted to under configuration mode and so on. Just like a real router. Okay, so remember I said about the CPU usage being very high. Well, look at mine, it's 65%. I've got no other programs running, and it's a fairly decent PC. It's a Intel Core 2 Duo, 2.4 gigahertz. So how can we reduce our CPU usage? I'll give you a very simple tip. It's what's called idle PC. So we right click on the router, and we click idle PC. And this detects when our router is idle so that our PC knows to stop using so much, uh, so many cycles on running the, the process. Okay, so once the idle PC has been run, you'll get a list of these kind of 10 values which are all different idle PC values. All you have to do is select one of them and you'll see a dramatic increase in performance and your CPU usage will go right down. So we'll choose one. The best ones are the ones with the asterisk on them and you can run this many times and see if some are better than others but we'll just choose one here and I think I'll go for number one. Right, watch my CPU usage. Click apply straight down 32, 18 and now I'm idling at around 20, 30% so it's pretty much cut our CPU usage in half. That's really useful, especially when you start using maybe five, six routers and um, you know you can really save a lot of CPU usage. So if you like this video and you want to see more GNS3 videos, click the link below to go to the GNS video training website and I'd like to thank you for watching.